Welcome Ramley, how my Rams super fans doing today? Today we are recapping the Rams versus the Green Bay Packers. Let's get right into it. As you guys all know, the Rams lost again. This time to the Green Bay Packers, 28 to 36. Now guys, this isn't gonna be some long video with a bunch of analysis and stats and, and everything else uh because this recap is going to be very simple we got our asses kicked by a team that's just better than us now i did say in the preview to this video i didn't need the rams to win i just needed the rams to go to green bay and compete and i think they did in the beginning of the season i said this rams team was very special and it was primarily because the rams played clean football we weren't turning the ball over we were also causing turnovers we weren't allowing any sacks on matthew stafford and we weren't penalized for anything over the last three weeks all of that has changed we can't stop turning the ball over and we're turning the ball over in the worst ways uh three pick sixes several interceptions and turnovers that left the opposing team already in the red zone it'll always be difficult to get wins that way i think the reason why we lost i mean it's not even that i think i know the reason why we lost this game is because we had three turnovers and honestly if you want to count the turnovers on downs it was basically four turnovers and three of those turnovers the green bay packers got the ball already within the 30 yard line how do you expect the rams defense to step up when you give them such a short field and the one turnover that did happen where they didn't start in our 30 yard line it was a pick six we literally had four turnovers we had the matthew stafford fumble we had the kick return fumble we had the turnover on downs which was a horrible play call we're still in the game the game is not out of hand why are we going for it on fourth down in our own territory so early in the game to me that should be considered a turnover for some reason it's called a turnover on downs but that doesn't go towards turnovers i'll never get that and then we have a horrible pass by matthew stafford that's a pick six i see a lot of people crying about our defense and saying we should fire raheem morris there was four turnovers by this offense and special teams that had nothing to do with our defense our defense was tasked with the ability to stop Aaron Rodgers when Aaron Rodgers is starting within his 30 yard line three times you think any defense is going to stop Aaron Rodgers from putting up 36 points when his defense has seven of those points and on three drives Aaron Rodgers has less than 30 yards to score seven? You just don't know football. Sorry, this game had nothing to do with Raheem Morris. It had everything to do with our offense turning the ball over. We lost by eight points. If our team puts up two less turnovers, this game is won. Let's talk about some of the players. I mean, Matthew Stafford finished the game with 302 yards, three touchdowns and an interception. His numbers look good. Matthew Stafford played horrible. He missed several throws in that first half. Several throws that was behind the receivers, uh, above the receivers' heads. It got really ugly for him. In the second half, he did turn it on. He did play a lot better, but there were still a few throws in the second half that he let get away from him. Now, I thought it was really weird. About an hour before the game, we get an alert saying that Matthew Stafford is dealing with chronic back pain, an elbow injury, an ankle injury. And it's like, where is this coming from? You know, it kind of came out of nowhere. He's been to practice. He has never been on the injury report. What is going on here? And then he goes out there and he plays like this. This was a terrible game by him. I don't care how good the stats are he missed several throws he had 17 incompletions on the night and i guarantee you at least half of those was just bad throws by him now let's give it to him his deep ball did look nice he did connect with van jefferson on a deep pass he did connect with obj but man he did not look good and maybe those injuries are bothering him a lot because this is not the same matthew stafford in the first eight weeks of this season and if we are going to continue to compete this season he cannot do this daryl henderson once again didn't look that well his longest rush was seven yards he really couldn't do anything against this green bay packers defense he averaged uh 3.4 yards per carry you know as far as our receivers go you know cooper cup like cooper cup you know there wasn't a bunch of drops this game like it was in that san francisco game so that was good to see uh, it was really good to see odell beckham get involved uh he looked really good in, in that first half he had several targets just not on the mark uh several targets behind him uh too low over his head there, there was times he was wide open and and uh some of those passes just went to the dirt um but uh when, when the ball did get put on him 
he made plays he had the nice deep ball downfield I think uh, this relationship between him and Matthew Stafford will continue to get better and we will continue to see good things from him. Uh, it's unfortunate that he hurt his back. I hope it's not serious. You could tell he was in a lot of pain. You could only tell he was in a lot of pain in between plays because when that ball was in the air and, and he was running routes and going up for catches, he looked like Odell Beckham. It was only in between plays where he was limping and a, a little slowed down. But man, when he was playing, he was given 110%. So hats off to Odell Beckham. Uh, I think the Rams defense did a really good job stopping the run this game. Uh, nobody likes to point that out. They only like to point out the games where this defense gives up 150 yards and we shit on the defense. But when they do good and they only give up 92 yards and the opposing team is only averaging 2.9 yards per carry, nobody likes to point that out. Uh, Rams did a phenomenal job of stopping the run. What the Rams defense did lack in is getting off the field on third down and fourth down. The Rams have struggled with getting off the field on third down all year long, and today was no different. That has to change. That has to change. Uh, on both sides of the ball, the Rams have to convert more third downs and they have to stop more third downs on defense. Basically, guys, to wrap this up, like I said in the preview video, I didn't need the Rams to win. All I did was need them to compete, and I do think we competed. But once again, we shot ourselves in the foot, and I'm starting, and, and I I honestly believe this is just who we are right now we cannot get out of our own way we are constantly making mistakes turnovers 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 there is no way you can turn the ball over four times within your own 30 to a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers and expect to be in the game some reason we were still in the game and that was amazing within itself but you can't blame the defense you can blame Matthew Stafford for not feeling the pressure on that strip sack turnover you can blame the kick returner for not holding on to the ball on that kick return uh, I don't even know his name we just have anybody returning kicks for us we literally have the worst special teams in the NFL and I don't know if that's statistically true uh, but my eye tells me that because our special teams is horrible we've been bad for the last two years ever since we lost John Fossil it is literally our 11th game of the season and we still don't have a solid punt and kick returner we're literally switching them out every single game this is ridiculous but you can blame him for that turnover you can blame Sean McVay for choosing to go for it within his own 30 on fourth down so early in the game and then you can blame Matthew Stafford for another pick six but the one thing I don't want you guys to do is blame this defense the defense did a bad job getting off the field on third and fourth down you could say that but at the end of the day four turnovers one being its pick six and the other three being within its 30 that defense is not gonna hold up the greatest defenses in NFL history is not gonna hold up when they're doing that with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. It's not gonna happen, sorry. I'm not gonna let you guys just uh, hang Raheem Morris out to dry. Stop blaming the defensive coordinator for the offense's fault. I don't care that the offense uh, put up 28 points. I don't care. Because the offense could have had 40 if they didn't turn the ball over so much. And Green Bay damn sure wanna score 36. Right now we're 11 games in the season. And I want to introduce a new topic to the show called Pack It Up. Yes, guys, we are packing bags and we're getting the hell out of town. Troy Reader, you got to go. Pack those bags up. At the end of the season, I don't want to see you no more. Darius Williams, you balled out last year. I'm glad you signed a one-year deal. Pack it up. You got to go. We got Bohorquez on the Green Bay Packers kicking every punt out of the damn stadium. We let him go. Kept Johnny Hecker. Johnny Hecker is horrible, guys. Pack it up. This is your last season. You got to go. Our special teams coach. I don't even know who he is. Pack it up. Got to find a new one. Taylor Rapp, I listen to Rams Showcase every week. And Sheriff Joe Bags hates you. And I stuck up for you. I am sorry, Sheriff Joe Bags. It will not happen again. Taylor Rapp pack it up you gotta go where is Terrell Burgess at you can't tell me he will play worse than Taylor Rapp you can't but guys I'm not losing hope I'm not losing hope we're still seven and four we got the Jaguars next I think we'll probably be favored in the next three out of four games uh, that's all of our next games outside of the Arizona Cardinals game I'm pretty sure they'll be favored in that one so I still got hope once you get into the playoffs the records are zero zero and uh, you never know, maybe we could get it clicking. Uh, I still think we have an amazing roster on paper. We just have to put it together. Hopefully the injury gods will be on our side moving forward and we can heal up. But it doesn't look good. In order to keep this thing afloat, 
We got to do a lot better. We got a lot of work to do. Uh, but man, keep the faith and uh, definitely be on the lookout for that Rams and Jaguars preview video. And if you're interested in more Rams content, click this video right here.